surprised me. You don't look like you're from here. Uh, well, let me introduce myself. My name is Chukuta Juan and I am a soldier. I am on my way to the Mission San Luis Fort. Ooh. Oh, I'm sorry. I was on a boat for a very, very long time. I'm tired and I'm ready to get to my destination. I sailed from the island of Cuba, which is south of Florida. And then I had to take a different kind of boat to get to here. What kind of boat you are wondering? Well, a canoe. As many Indians here know well, canoes are perfect for traveling along the many rivers of Florida and beyond. Some native tribes in Florida use canoes to travel fast, carry a lot of supplies, and also to fish. Tell me, have you been in a boat? Oh wow, how oh, interesting. Now, sorry for interrupting you, but those clouds, they don't look good, right? They seem dark. It looks like a storm is coming this way. I think I should keep going. I still have a little bit of way to go before I arrive at the mission. You can join me if you want. Come on. Sounds like the storm is almost here. We could find a shelter or we could just keep moving. What do you think? Oh, taking shelter? Not a bad point, but there isn't much in here. I don't see any lightning though. I think we have a little time before the storm hits. There are other missions and Appalachian villages in here that might be closer than St. Louis. Maybe if we hurry up, we might be able to find one of them. So let's go. I did not find any other mission around. And there was a lot of rain and soaked from my hat to my cloak to everything literally. Oh man, this keeps the rain off. That's why I bring them. Unless not lightning struck. You look like you got through the storm pretty good. Storms are always a problem if you travel. You either had to hide in a shelter and lose time or you get rain on trying to reach your destination. Sometimes it gets muddy and messy and hard to walk on the path. Or you can't even see the path. On a boat, for example, you have to worry about the huge waves coming towards you. Lightning could hit the, the boat and also the storm could push the boat away to the wrong direction or even get you lost. But hey, we made it. And we are closer to Mission San Luis. Let's go. Oh no! Look at all these trees and branches down here. Storms can knock trees down. These are things we have to watch out for when we travel. Wild animals too. Often we go in groups. This lets us protect each other and clear the way if there is an obstacle. Like for example, this tree is behind me. If we had a lot of people with us, we could just use access to cut through the trees behind me. And this is important if you have horses and ox carts. Do you know what an ox car is? But they are very, very expensive and not many people own them. Hmm. We could go around all these trees and take a longer path, but we might get lost. And we don't know what else is waiting for us, right? Or I have an iron axe that I could use to cut some of these trees and branches. What's your idea? Go around or go through? Okay. I see, sometimes it's better to just cut through and stick to the path. But today, it's just me. I don't even have a crew member here or ox carts or horses, so I don't have to worry about that. It should be easy to just go around all these trees. Even though I haven't visited St. Louis before, that'll be fine. I have a map. We won't get lost. Come on. Whew. 
What a walk. I have gotten a little lost. And it's too hot out here. All the bugs keep wanting to bite me. I think it's time for a break. This walking makes me hungry. Huh, let's see what I got here. Mmm. A piece of hardtack. Do you learn where hardtack is? A few weeks ago, hardtack is a piece of bread that has no taste and it's hard like a rock. So how do you eat it? Well, you just soak it in wine or water a few minutes and then you will be able to take a bite. Hmm, maybe I can find some food around here. What should I look for? Wild meat, like deer, turkey, rabbit. I can make a nice stew. Or maybe some berries, plants. What would you like to eat? Yes, that sounds cute. I know most of you will probably like a nice meat stew, but in this case, I don't have any hunting tools and also I cannot waste time hunting since I need to get to Mission San Luis. I might not even find any animals to hunt. So let's try to find some berries or plants I could eat. Hmm. Hey, look! A hickory nut! Hickory nuts taste good like walnuts. Normally, it's pretty hard to open them by hand so that's why the palachi they use mullets instead let's see mmm delicious let's see what else we can find oh what about this wait they are open holly berries the palachi use the leaves to make tea but the berries they make you sick so we cannot eat those you have to make sure you always ask an expert before you eat anything in the wild. That's very, very important. And look at this. These are muscadine grapes, and they are delicious around this area. Well, I think that was a good snack. We should almost be at the mission, just a little bit further. Let's go. We're here, we made it to the Palachi's council house at Mission San Luis. The Palachi use their council house for important meetings and ceremonies, and they also let travelers and soldiers stay here. I was just talking to one of the Palachi before you came in. So this is where I'm gonna be sleeping. I know, it looks pretty high and it doesn't look very comfortable, but it's not too bad. We call them barbacoas. These benches are up high so we can have small fires underneath them and that keeps the bugs away which is great because I don't like mosquitoes. I have a blanket in here and a pillow that I'm gonna be using and do you remember that I was telling you traveling takes a while? Well we also had to carry our own sleeping gear with us because sometimes we camp outside. So tell me, have you ever gone camping before? What was it like? Okay, it sounds like you had more fun than I did. Lucky for us, we don't have to camp outside. We have these nice barbacoas away from any rain, warm fire, and it sounds like we'll get that deer stew after all, I hope. So tomorrow, I must go to the fort and check with the captain. But if you stay in town, you might be able to see me again. I think I heard Merchant will be visiting us soon. But right now, I'm very tired and I need some sleep. So thank you again for your help and I'll see you later. Hasta luego!